Sunday night. About to do a super duper short workout. But I have been saying all week, I am focused on getting in a perfect week. It's not 100% ideal, but I'd rather do a short workout than not work out at all. So I don't intend for this entire routine to be more than 25, 30 minutes. I'm going to do my ab, ab roller, three sets. Then I'm going to do flat bench. And then I'm going to do a circuit with push-ups and crossovers. And then I'm going to do squats. And then I'm going to do a circuit with calf raises and leg curls. And I really intend for this to be short. I ran six miles this morning. Have not missed a workout this week other than this one. So um, the back and shoulders routine, I did that as scheduled on Friday. Was supposed to do this yesterday. Felt tired, did not feel like working out. But I said I'm not going to end this week without getting through my entire routine. So this is the last piece. So this is going to be super short. Just break a sweat. Just have, you know, mentally that I did the workout and on to the next week. So let's get into it. Bench press at two of two, one thirty five on. Push-ups, cable flies. Watts at 2 and 2, 135. When Anthony Joshua decided to come across the pond and defend his title at a legendary arena, I said, wow, he wants to follow in the footsteps of greatness like Muhammad Ali. He was 26. What the hell? 29. 29? 29, This boxing shit's getting hard, no? We had three recognized world heavyweight champion. He got 
to make it in America, and I was excited to come to Madison Square Garden. It's the mecca of boxing. Uh, it's the mecca of boxing, period. It's an honor to fight there. It's an honor uh, to fight there. There's no better feeling than fighting in Madison Square Garden, the most famous arena in the world. This was going to be his welcome to America. Uh, That's what this was. So everyone in the Joshua's first uh, fight got beat, and they had the perfect opponent in Jarrell Miller. <laughs> Calf raise, leg curl, last circuit. It was almost like a coronation ceremony for him. Yeah, hey, we came to America, we're from Britain, Anthony Joshua's gonna win tonight, let's drink beer and have fun in New York City. It was like a stamped out version of when this game. He has fans that will travel. So as I said at the start, short and sweet, uh, ab roll, uh, did bench by itself, then I did a circuit with push-ups and cable flies, then squats by itself, then a circuit with calf raises and leg curls. Uh, perfect week, very, very proud of that. Uh, missed two of my lifting workouts last week. I've been running 20 miles a week, although I think I came in a little under. Uh, I had planned to do a 10 miler today outdoors I uh, ended up pouring all day, so I just did six on the treadmill, and I uh, just made up my um, my workout from yesterday. Was fatigued, uh, just was not feeling it, so I uh, did decide to just double up today. Uh, but two perfect weeks out of three, uh, and the important thing: this was definitely not my toughest workout ever. You know, it wasn't a grueling hour-long session. Uh, only did two reps, I mean two sets on each exercise, only did six exercises instead of eight. Um, but the important thing is I got it in. And one of the most important things in terms of being consistent is recognizing you're not going to have your best every time. But you see I broke a sweat, uh, got in 35-minute workout. I really, I honestly wanted this to be 25, 30 max, a little over. But uh, the important thing is I got my workout in. Uh, and I got the confidence to know that I just had a week where I lifted three times, ran four times. Um, so very proud of that. What I do 18 miles this week. So too short. Um, I had planned on doing a 10 miler, but I was not going to go out to the trail a day and just the pouring rain. So I uh, didn't get my 20 miles in. Had I gotten, I actually would have ran 22. But uh, like I said, I couldn't get it. Couldn't get outdoors today. But um, proud of the effort was very tired today and it's not easy to run six miles and then come in and work out on the evening especially doing legs and the legs didn't feel too great but still got it in so let's go through the details of the workout so here are my two workouts from the day did six miles and then after the five minute cool down walk here's the training i just did so 35 minutes not super long uh, and that was never the intention just knowing you know, i was lifting the same day i was going to run six miles and i plan to do 10 um, you know, 218 calories of active calories, 314 total. Heart rate wasn't crazy. Peaked at 122. Uh, let's go through the routine really quickly. Always start with abs, ab wheel. Man, does that thing suck. Uh, and as I said from the start, I was planning on a short workout uh, since I was doubling up today on my long run day. Uh, bench press two sets, push ups two sets, with a, and that was the first circuit with cable crossover being the second part. I uh, did squats. Um, I did my standing calf raises for two sets as a part of a circuit. 
and finish with lion leg curl. So that's the routine for tonight. So ending the week off with a high note, uh, really, really happy. I, I just, I was determined to have this perfect week and I really need to make sure that's my mentality going forward. Make sure I'm consistent, make sure I'm getting my workouts in. And the one thing I really have to get over is knowing there are going to be days where I don't have my best and I just need to get a workout in. Like, I'm so happy I did this little 35 minute workout. Uh, last time I did this two weeks ago, it was like over an hour and I knew I didn't have that. And I made the choice to do half of my workout instead of doing nothing at all. And then I'd have the guilt. Uh, I'd be stepping on the scale next Friday saying, man, I, you know, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. And all I can do is give myself the best chance to be successful at this, to be consistent. And I didn't want to do a full workout yesterday. I was pretty fatigued. So uh, instead of not working out today, I made sure I did a short workout, got a nice sweat going, and I'm going to end the week on a high note. So um, just need to make sure, you know, I keep that mentality because, there, I mean, as much as I'm working out, I'm just not going to feel great all the time. But what I need to focus on is consistency. You know, I once heard Alex Rodriguez talk about that with his workout routine. And he's one of the greatest baseball players of all time. And he said, there are days I will go in and have a 20, 30 minute workout when I intended to have an hour, two hour session. I go in, I know I don't have it. And I just, I give what I got and I just stay consistent with it. So, you know, I need to make sure I'm, I'm adopting that principle instead of just saying, I know I don't have an hour, hour and a half workout in me. Um, there may be days where I don't feel like running 10 miles on the weekend. And if I go run four or five, you know what, that's fine. But what you do is you make sure you're consistently working out and not getting down on yourself and not getting discouraged. I don't feel terrible. I don't feel guilty about doing a short workout. I'm actually very happy that I did my entire workout for the week. So you know, closing out the week on a high note and I'm going to fight hard to make it through next week.